for tuning into the second episode of Round the Diamond. On this episode, Isaiah and I traveled to Corinth Holders Deca to show what a chapter visit is like inside NC Deca. When walking into a high school for the first time on a chapter visit, it's important to notify your point of contact and then go to the main office of the high school and sign in. From that point, you'll get a feel for where you're going to be presenting, um, how you're going to be presenting, and what format that presentation is going to take. So a beginning of a meeting can go a multitude of ways, but usually I see that a chapter advisor or the chapter officer team talks about upcoming uh, payment dates and other critical information just right off the bat of the meeting. The purpose project is uh, building bears uh, for children in hospitals who are in need. Uh, many of you have already bought and built bears to get to take to states, and we're gonna put these up on stage and donate these bears so usually you have members of the chapter team talk about upcoming events. Uh, one of the programs listed here is the North Carolina Deck of Building Heroes campaign that's going to build Build-A-Bears for children in local children's hospitals in North Carolina. So this is the moment that as a state officer during a chapter visit, you give your presentation. Usually the chapter advisor or the chapter officer team will give you beforehand some key points they want you to touch upon. Uh, usually, it's, I see it broken down into three categories. First off, they want you to talk about your deck experience. Second, some general competition techniques. And then third, they want you to explain sort of what incredible opportunities await the members inside their chapter. Thank you, Corinth Holders Deca. I'm happy to be here. I hope everyone's excited for state conference. Now, just to start off, how many people is this your first year in Deca? How many first people members? How many people is your first time at state conference? All right, well get excited because State Conference is one of the best experiences you can have inside NC DECA. Um, I joined DECA my sophomore year. I still remember my first State Conference. I did not know what to expect. You walk in there and you have 3,000 people in attendance. Uh, it's a pretty incredible uh, venue. It's a pretty incredible experience. So going to State Conference my first year, I went and did Principles of Marketing. Went through that event. And the first thing you see, especially with your judges, is that each judge is unique. So you have some judges that are very engaging, some that are a little bit more standoffish. But the idea is that you want to be able to read your judge, build a connection there, be able to help find you success. So my first year at DECA, I went qualified with ICDC, so I went to Nashville. So I didn't know what to expect, but when you get to ICDC, if you have that opportunity, you go in there and you walk, and you're in a stadium with 20,000 competitors from all over the world. So it just shows you that what you're learning right now in the classroom, what you did at districts, and what you're doing at states, all accumulates, hopefully, to that one incredible event. So one of the most rewarding aspects of a chapter visit comes at the very end when you have the opportunity to go and really talk to members because you get to learn their names, their passions, their interests, what brought them to DECA, and you get a really good idea of what careers they want to pursue and what vision they have for their future. And that's a really rewarding experience as a state officer because you become very invested in your members. Because when you see them again at districts, when you see them again at states, you know exactly why they're, they're in DECA and what reasons they have to be able to go and pursue their dreams, their careers. So when you see them walk across the stage, maybe it's for the first time, you see their face light up and you feel proud because you know exactly what that meant to that person. You know, and personally as a state officer, that's been one of the most incredible moments for me inside DECA serving this year is getting to really know your members and having that level of connection. All right. All right, everybody, I'm here today with Cameron Summers at Corinth Holders. Now, Cameron, first off, I want to ask you, for all the people out there that don't know, what defines DECA to you? DECA to me is opportunity. Opportunity to grow as a person in whatever mm -hmm. field you may want to go. Marketing is such a broad concept and so is business. You can go into fashion, merchandising, sports. There's really a place for everybody in DECA and it's taken me to so many places I have never thought I'd be, I would go. Mm -hmm. Now let me ask you, what was your personal niche that you found in DECA? My personal niche was community service. I, I learned that I love serving people, love doing things and creating things for other people. Even here, we have friendship bracelets that we're giving to kids mm -hmm. for children at a camp for kids who have uh, lost parents. So making these tokens of support and raising money for causes has really been my passion throughout my years in DECA. 
Mm. So have you found that DECA has almost become a family and opened up a family to you? Absol absolutely. Uh, we, we all know each other, we all love each other, we see each other every day, we're all struggling on our projects together, and when we all go to these trips, it's just a celebration of the entire year of work, you know, blood, sweat, and tears that go into everything that we do, and it's a celebration of DECA and a celebration of our DECA family. Mm. Now, DECA is an international organization, but this specific chapter, Corinth Holders, what is different about this chapter than any other chapter? I feel we have the drive to push back our competition mm. and we have the passion about everything that we do. We go the extra mile looking for new creative ways to expand our projects and expand our chapter's reach. Um, this year and last year we're very proud to see our impact on the local community, uh, mm. organizing events in the community such as our Chip for Children golf tournament mm. um, where we actually went out and as DECA members made our own golf tournament and we also had a bowling night at our local bowling alley. Wow. So we bring the high school together and DECA members together to make one community and it's just awesome to see. Mm. So now you talked about what you guys are doing this year and last year. Finally I want to ask you what can we expect from Corinth holders in the future? Oh uh, nothing but growth. Nothing mm. but growth. At the trajectory we're going we're going to be bigger, better than ever, more involved with all the experiences that we've had this year, all the struggles of trying new things. We'll know how to you know, successfully implement these things next year mm. and expand off of that. Mm. So I'm really excited what the future holds uh, in our chapter. Wow. And thank you so much for talking to me, man. And thank you for having us thank out so in Corinth Holders. All right. Thank you so much.